Right, I know I'm wearing Raptor stuff, but I don't care right now. What the Leafs need to do this offseason to have any chance of winning the Cup in the near future? They need to trade one of the big four, Tavares, Matthews, Nylander, Marner. Right now, I'd think it would be Nylander, even though Nylander played great this season. They're not going to get rid of Marner. Seriously, even though he played like absolute crap in the playoffs, doesn't mean they'll get rid of him. He's still, in my opinion, the second best player on the team after Matthews. Tavares needs to switch to the wing. He's getting too old to play center. He's slowing down. I don't think he deserves that contract. I'm not saying that it was a stupid idea to sign him, but it kind of was a stupid idea to sign him with that money. Another thing they need to do, get a defense. They'll have some money. They won't have Cody Cece. Um, they extended Mark Morenz, which is stupid, considering he doesn't even freaking play. When he does, he's a liability on the ice. Hmm. Like, I don't know. They have some young pieces. Nick Robertson should have had Lafreniere if that freaking ball didn't collide with the Rangers. But, I don't know. The draft lottery system's stupid, but... Um, they need to get some grit. They, got rid of, they have Hyman. He's... They need more Zach Hyman's on their team. Not literally, you can't get more than one of the same player, but you know what I mean. They need to get some grit on in grind on their team. Like, Jason Spezza, holy, he wants to win. He freaking basically saved the Leafs in Game 4. Even though it means absolute nothing anymore, that comeback. They would have won the series, people would have remembered that, but no one gives a crap anymore about that comeback. Well... They'll have some money to get a D Dubis needs to be fired as well. I don't like Kyle Dubis. The first I knew he was bad when the first thing he did was get rid of Curtis McElhinney for Garrett Sparks. I knew he was bad when he did that. So they will have like $5 million per year extra from Cody Cece. I swear to God, if they re-sign Cody Cece, I'm actually going to lose my freaking mind. If they, they're not going to, though. I don't think they're that stupid. You saw him in the playoffs. He was god awful. He scored one goal. I'm surprised he scored. He scored like two goals. He scored one goal the whole season. I think one or two goals, maybe. Um, I don't think anyone played really well this series. Anderson was good in my opinion. He wasn't great. He played the guard. He didn't play very good in game five. Um, I don't know. Jack Campbell's a pretty good backup in my opinion. They need, like, I get Kadri got suspended back-to-back -back years, but they need players like him. Like, I don't know what they're going to do. They ha they've they invested 40% of their cap into four players, but obviously that will go down if one of the big four gets traded. They get some defense, though. They have... Here's some. Here's the top four. It's not. A, it's not bad, but it's mediocre at best. Riley, Muzzin, Dermot, and Hall, and then Cody CC, and San or er, Marinson. Now is it a ter like? Um, you guys say like most people say Riley had a bad year, but I'll, like it's not his fault. They had to play with Cody CC as his defensive pairing. Like they don't have very good right wing, um, great handed defensemen. Justin Hall's okay. Tyson Berry. Terrible. He played like garbage this season. He was terrible. He's probably gonna be gone as well. Um, so yeah, we need to get some better right-handed defensemen. For left hand we have Riley Hall or not Hall, Muzzin and Dermot. We're pretty good there in my opinion. I don't really love Dermot, but I think we're okay there. So yeah, also the left wings on the team forwards aren't that good. Zach Hyman's good. Um, Robertson will be good, just not yet. I don't like Andreas Johnson. Like, why the hell would you throw a guy in in Game 5 when he hasn't played in six months? Six months and you're just going to throw him into the lineup. That was a bad idea. Also, don't, you can't put Nylander at center. You can't have one line and then the rest of your team's terrible. One line. What are you, trying to freaking become the Boston Bruins? I guess if you can't beat them, join them. But at least Boston has some depth and some grit and grind on their team. Toronto has none of that. Like, I'm just sick of this team sometimes. They are so garbage sometimes. They're, I just can't believe it. Predicted Toronto beat Columbus in three games. I thought Toronto would just out-talent Columbus. Game one, you got shut out in game five. I'm sick of this. You have Matthews, Nylander, Marner, Tavares. Tavares missed that, but it looked, it might not look easy, but it was hard. It was in front of him, and it was on the heel of his stick, so it was harder. 
to get a good shot off. And you can't score one goal. Tavares was the only one who showed up in Game 5, in my opinion. The only one who showed up. So yeah, I'm interested to see what the Leafs can do this offseason. Barry and CeCe better be gone. Or else. And I'll be making a video reacting to this, probably, after the offseason. So in, like, December when the season starts again. So, hope you guys enjoyed. I guess, go Raps, then. Go Raptors. I'll be making Raptors videos now, because at least they don't get freak aren't the meme of the NBA anymore, like the Leafs still are. But hell, people call me a bandwagon. I'm not. I was literally a Raptors fan since 2016. Which isn't that long, but it's before they started to become, like, the best, like, their championship team. Yeah, I hope you guys have a good day, and peace out.